Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. We have some very interesting news from Canon this morning in the last couple of days of 2020. They have released a Japanese language only without subtitles video about their new 8K line of cameras. Now, it's on the Japanese marketing YouTube site and it is really unusual for a lot of reasons. Couple being that the cameras shown are actually C300 Mark IIs with some kind of modified, it looks like a super 35 millimeter 8K sensor and four SDI cables coming out the back of it. So Canon is basically announcing a new camera while putting a six year old camera in the video that they have sort of jerry rigged with, I'm guessing their new sensor. Um, so they're announcing a new camera without actually showing the camera. Uh, Canon Rumors says that it's gonna be two cameras. There's gonna be an A camera that's gonna be in that uh, C700, maybe a C700 Mark II, the $30,000, $26,000 price point, um, way up there. And then there's gonna be a modular version of the uh, 8K camera. So it may be the, well, logically it would be the same body as the C300 Mark III and the C500 Mark II, so that it would use all the similar accessories. Some big surprises is that it's clearly not an RF mount camera. Um, the one shown in the video is actually PL mount. Um, and it's also not a full frame. You would think that to get 8K, the easiest way to do that would be to put two 4K Super 35 sensors like are in the um, Canon C300 Mark III, rotate them 180 degrees and put them side by side. This is how the uh, Aria Alexa dealt with it. They basically took their sensor, rotated it, put two of them, and then for the Alexa 65, they put three of them horizontally um, to get the uh, large format sensor. It doesn't look like Canon's done this. It looks like they have doubled the amount of photo sites in the Super 35mm sensor. Another very bizarre thing about the video is even though it's talking about an 8K sensor and has 8K footage in it, they've only uploaded in 1080p. So you actually can't see the uh, the 8K footage in its 8K format if, if you actually had an 8K monitor. Which also brings us to the next point of who is this for? I am not really even a big fan of 4K because you know, when you get right down to it, unless you're inches from a giant screen, you're not gonna see the added detail. Um, 2K or 1080 is almost as many pixels as the human eye can perceive at a viewable distance on a normal television. If you're talking about, uh, you're going up from 65 to 70 inch televisions, if you're going up to a 200 inch TV, these do exist. I saw them at this year's CES and they, they look really beautiful. Uh, so I guess the reason to shoot in 8K is that if you're shooting footage that you want to look good on those future monitors, right? Those things are $10,000 plus right now. Uh, I believe they're only 4K monitors, but I guess uh, the the, the 200 inch things from Sony and from uh, Panasonic and from LG. But if you were shooting something that's only happening once um, in a lifetime, uh, and I'm talking about the Tokyo Olympics, which are happening next year, they had committed to shoot and broadcast this event in 8K because it is technologically possible and that people may wanna go back and look at that footage in 20 years from now when 200 inch screens will be affordable, I guess. But as an average filmmaker, I think 4K is as much as we're gonna need for the next decade. And to, you know, shooting 8K is, you know, certainly we wish we had been able to shoot uh, the moon landing or these amazing events, uh, these pivotal world history events in 8K so that we could enhance them and watch them on bigger and bigger screens for, for decades to come. So I don't know who exactly this 8K is for. There are 8K cameras out there. It may be another case of Canon just really pushing the technology, technological edge in order to kind of keep their um, competitors uh, guessing, much like the Star Wars project did in the 80s, that sort of outspent and bankrupted the Soviet Union as they tried to keep up with um, America's space program, even though that space defense program, SDI, never actually worked. Uh, we weren't able to shoot down missiles from space. We weren't able to use lasers. Canon is also reacting to Blackmagic's cameras, uh, which are quite a bit cheaper um, than a lot of theirs. And they wanna think of themselves as a 
technologically bleeding edge company. So it definitely makes sense that if they have an 8K sensor, they wanna show it off, they wanna put it in cameras. It really is almost like a concept car um, that's available out there that you can get if you really, really have a need for it. Um, but generally, the, uh, the aura of this cutting edge, bleeding edge technology embellishes the brand as a whole. I think that's where Canon are going with this. If you have a Canon cinema camera or interested in getting one, head over to canonmasterclass.com and check out some of the courses that we have. There is a C200 Masterclass, a C300 Mark III Masterclass, and a C500 Mark II Masterclass that are very in-depth explorations of how these cameras work, how to get great images with them, and how to build a solid workflow that is gonna serve you for many years as a filmmaker. That is my look at Canon's 8K announcement video. Happy New Year, happy end to 2020, and all the best for 2021.